Wow, I look so bad. But this right here, you guys, you girls probably already know, this right here is when a girl wears makeup and she wants to rub her eyes so bad and she just doesn't give a fuck and she does it. That's this right here. And it felt so good. Hi, everybody. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I actually stayed home from work today because my mom had a couple errands to run, which I absolutely do not mind. She just does so much for us um, that when she was like, hey, do you think I can have some time off or come in late? Is that cool? I'm like, hell yeah, it's cool. So we had this already planned for like a couple weeks. Um, so yeah, today's Monday and normally I would be at barbell meetings and well, all day actually. I'm like in several meetings for barbell in one day. Yes, I did just walk into my bathroom, turn on the lights, walk around for like three seconds, turn them all off and walk right out. Yep, I just did that. I didn't even realize that I did that. Anyway, um, so Tech is napping, but I had a chance to finally organize our guest room. Not like this mess over here. <sighs> one room at a time, one room at a time. Um, and I wanna show you guys what it looks like. This up. So I threw out a bunch of stuff right here. And threw all that stuff out. And before, I had a bunch of boxes and stuff um, just kind of piled up in here. All I have now are just these things. These are some of the things I'm actually gonna add to either a Poshmark or wherever you can sell clothes. Cause like, I think I've only worn this for pictures. Um, even a bra, I don't think I ever even wore this to be honest with you, it's like brand new. These never wore these. Anyway, so I'm gonna start putting clothes online um, to sell. So if you guys wanna buy some, I'll put it up at some point, I don't know when. But anyway, that's not the point of this segment of this video, but it might be, that might be it later because I do wanna try out my closet to start, so I can start putting stuff aside so that you guys can buy it. But, um, cause I did do a video last week or two and a lot of you sent me DMs and were like, yes, I wanna buy it, I wanna buy it. So I'm like, I heard y'all, so I'm gonna do it. But anyway, I keep going back to this damn room. It was packed, it was really packed with a bunch of shit. And now it looks like this. I had a nice screen. Um, this is where I'm gonna put my laptop. I need to buy a keyboard because I left it at the office and I think Ren took it and I don't want to take it back. She didn't take it like as in steal it. She was just like, Jill's not using it, I'm gonna use it. And I'm not gonna be like, hey dude, give it back because it looks like she's really using it. So she can keep that. Um, and I'll just set my laptop here. I'll have a keyboard here so that I can work while my laptop's here and then these two screens will be combined. Um, move this over. It used to be here, but move that over there. Have you guys seen my filing cabinet? I just have a bunch of pictures. I mean the stickers that anyone sends me mainly barbell stickers um, But I do want to Cover this thing up with stickers. So if you guys have some stickers you want to send me send them to me You guys can send me stuff um, to our gym. It's 646 Gibbons Street, Los Angeles, California, 90031. Because I do get a lot of DMs too. Like, where can we send you some stuff? And I I don't normally like you guys spending money on us. So I don't, it's like rare that I give it out. But um, yeah, send me some stickers. And not stickers that you have to like spend a bunch of money on. I don't want you guys to do that. Just stickers that you guys come across and you guys like. And I'll put it up here for you guys. Well, and for me. Because I think it looks really, really cool. I'd love to cover it all up. Even these, like, every time I get a, I just started this, adding Apple stickers on it. It'd be cool just to cover it in all Apple stickers. Um. Anyway, I'm kind of getting sidetracked here. So yeah, did that. I used to have like crazy uh, stuff on my, like in here, but now it's all organized as my iPad. Um. Have like bills and stuff there. Okay, here's the kicker, y'all. Here's the kicker, y'all. Um, so no one sleeps here. So these are all empty until now. So I have all my office supply stuff here. Does anyone need a pen or a marker? I got you. Um, I have labeling tape and a label maker. I have all my ink for my printer. I have sleeves, different size card sleeves, just like a bunch of extra stuff here. I have extra notepads and notebooks. Um, just extra wires, sleeves, envelopes, 
I think, yeah, this is all Bart stuff here that he needs to sort through. I'm not gonna go through it. Because if it's just up to me, I'm gonna throw everything out. Extra printing paper, three hole puncher. Um, and binders and um, fat leaf folders. Yeah, so I think I did a good job. I think I did a good job. I'm excited. Oh, and these little things, you guys, these. I, you can get these at um, Ikea. They're right here. This is what it looks like. I get these all the time. Scoobs. The scoob. The scubs. And it comes with these sizes. I see that. And it's really convenient because they come flat. So if I'm not using them, I just leave them flat. But then when I'm ready to use them, there's a zipper down the middle. And then you just zip it closed. And voila, you're ready. But yeah. Enjoy. Okay, so now to the part of this video. Um, I do want to start trying on clothes. Ow, I just hit my foot. On the corner of the bed here. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna think about it. Um, but I do want to start trying on some clothes so that I can start putting stuff up online so that you guys could start buying it if you want to. Cool? Cool. A lot of these clothes, honestly, too, I haven't worn in either a year or two, or I've just never put on. Because I swear in my head, I'm gonna go out more than I actually do, and I don't. Because I'm like, well, what if a wedding comes up? Like, what if it's a summertime wedding? Or, or you know, I just make up crazy scenarios in my head, and then it just doesn't happen. So then I'm like, stuck with clothes in there. But I do enjoy shopping, I don't enjoy spending money. Isn't that a bitch? Okay, anyway, okay, let's go to my room. All right, you guys, welcome to my closet. Not a 100% complete closet, because I just feel like there's a lot of accessories, like backpacks and belts and shit that I just don't, and I just haven't put the time into this closet at all. And I also just kind of, I feel like I want to color coordinate things. I'm not sure yet. Um, I look dinner time, okay? But what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna look at some clothes, and the ones that I don't, I haven't put on in a while, I'm gonna put them on, and then I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna put it online or keep it. So keep it or dump it, and I don't like the way that sounds. Keep it or sell it. It's plain and simple. I don't know why I make things so complicated, okay? So we're gonna keep it or sell it, and I'll let you guys know. So I'm gonna start off, so this is the way I have my closet arranged, if you guys want any ideas. I have my skirts, I have my longer skirts, and then they go longer and longer. Then they turn into um, spaghetti strap dresses, to short sleeve dresses, to quarter dress it, uh, sleeve. And then they get longer in size. And then the longer, then we start all over again with the spaghetti. You get it, right? And then we have long sleeve dresses. Now we have like um, rompers. <sighs> rompers, body suits, and then we go spaghetti strap shirts. We move all the way here to longer sleeve, to longer sleeve, to t-shirts, cutoff shirts, um, crop tops, but long sleeve. These are all long sleeve sweaters, 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 sweaters. And then we got all the pants down here. And then I do have a closet kind of mixed with my PJs um, where I do have like a bunch of shorts and stuff. So I do want to go through that as well. And um, yeah. Let's go, even some shoes actually. I wanna look through some of my shoes. I don't know if I wanna sell shoes. I don't know how comfortable I feel about selling shoes cause I just, I don't buy shoes. So I feel like, why would anyone wanna buy my shoes? If you guys wanna buy some of my shoes, let me know. They're not pretty cause I've worn them, but let me know. Okay, let's start. Okay, first skirt, ignore this is cause I'm wearing a tank, Bart's tank. I've never worn this and I'm really sad I never have because this skirt is really cute. It buttons up at the front here. Can't even remember where I got it from. That's how old it is. Definitely keeping it. Okay, definitely not the most flattering skirt, but I think I'm gonna keep it, you guys. Keeping it. Oh God, <gasps> suck it in. <gasps> Yeah, keeping it. Okay, someone help me here because I've tried wearing denim skirts 
for years and I've yet to ever find one that I love. Like I thought I loved this, putting it on, never actually wore it in public. I just feel like it's not flattering. Like maybe it's a lot of fabric denim going on or something. I just don't like it. Selling it. Okay, so here's another denim skirt, but this denim material is a little bit more stretchy and form-fitting, so I like it. Haven't worn it yet, but I will. So keeping it. Okay, I've only worn this skirt once for a JK shoot, and that makes me really sad. I'm gonna wear this skirt. I'm gonna find an excuse to wear this skirt again. Mark my words, motherfucker, keeping it. Wore this at a funeral. Uh, Cause it's just very like business cash. So I think I'm gonna keep it. Cause I don't really have very much, very many business cash stuff. Okay, it's a wrap. So it like literally wraps around. And then you tie a knot here. Uh, wore it a couple times already. Still absolutely love it. Keeping it. Okay, this one I've worn, I can't even tell you how many times. This, this material is just so flattering. I love it so much. And you can't go wrong with a long skirt. Um, looks really pretty. You can dress up or dress down. We got spring right around the corner. So keeping it. All right, so this next thing might look really crazy on camera because I'm staring at it right now and I'm my eyes are already hurting. Okay, but this, oh, it does look crazy on camera. This guy. How do we feel about it? I'm kind of maybe about this. I don't know how I like it. What do we think, you guys? Like a flowy top of some sort. Like maybe high heels or something. Ooh, it looks crazy on camera. Okay, this is a maybe. I don't know how I feel about it. Ooh. Okay, so we have this really pretty skirt and it just bums me out. I can't wear it more because it's just so damn pretty. Like, look at this. Oh, it's so damn pretty. Um, Definitely not parting with this because I just haven't worn it enough. Like, come on, where are we gonna wear you, girl? Where are we gonna wear you? I don't go out, you guys. Okay, so here we go. A little bit torn with this one. I've had this skirt for I want to say about eight years. I've only worn it a couple times. I think what happens, you guys, because I have a small waist and I have really wide hips um, and more bottom heavy. When I wear, I wish I knew more about fashion so I could tell you guys like the A line and the blah, blah, blah. But when it's flowy material and it goes out this way, it makes me look bigger than I am. And that's something I don't necessarily prefer. So I think, I'm gonna sell this. But it's so pretty and it's so elegant. Oh, I like it, especially with high heels. The look is just so much more elevated, but I think it's time. Like this skirt on the other hand, form fitting, it looks so pretty. Look at the detail. Ugh, oh, not parting with it. I just got this guy. Okay, not just got it, but I love it. All right, so I just realized it's going to take me forever to go through every single little, little thing. So anything that I'm kind of on the maybes with, I'm going to try on. Okay, cool. So this one, definitely not maybe on. It's denim. It's long pencil skirt. It's that scr a little less scratchy. It's stretchy material, so I love the way it's form-fitting. This one, I'm kind of a maybe on. This one, I'm kind of a maybe on. This one, I absolutely love. It fits just like that. Um like this uh what color would you say this is brass brown orange i don't know if it's like this one so i'm keeping it this one i'm kind of maybe on i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about okay here's that white one can you tell what color underwear i'm wearing can you see that <sighs> what do we do about that you guys so it's not very flattering like you can see cellulite on my butt like, wait, maybe the lighting's like here. Like, it's not very flattering. Look, you see that? But I like it. 
Why am I like this? I'll buy a slip. I'm keeping it. Okay, I'm tripping. I like it. Uh, it's an asymmetrical cut. Kind of like the other skirt that I said I was going to put on. It does come out, right? But because it's so form-fitting on top, it gives me a waist. So we can deal with it. It is kind of also see-through a bit. See my underwear? Let's see. See that? Okay, well, we'll just wear nude color underwear. I'm keeping it. All right, I really love the detail of this skirt, just how it feels, but I think it's just my waist to hip ratio that this just, it's not flattering. I've worn it once or twice already and I've just been so disappointed with it. As much as I would love to keep it, it just doesn't make any sense selling it. Now we move into dresses. Not bad, like my pace. So this dress is very beautiful, very flattering, but I cannot imagine an occasion where I would need to wear a dress like this. So I'm gonna sell it. Now this right here, this is definitely more me. Keeping it. Okay, this is some hoochie mama shit. I've clearly never worn this. Um, still wearing a bra back here. That's the back, let me see, can you see it? Minus the bra. Um, it's a beautiful dress. Never worn it, selling it. Okay, so this is my super conservative funeral dress. Selling it. Wore this for a friend's wedding when I was a little bit bigger after giving birth to Taika. Doesn't fit me anymore. A, a very beautiful dress. Um, selling it. Okay, so funny story about this one. Um, such a beautiful dress. I didn't like tie it the whole way, but you can already see the details. Very form fitting. I absolutely love it. It was classy yet very sexy. Um, I did not fit in this dress at all. Still bought it anyway. I was about to explode out of it. Um, because I had just given birth to Taika maybe like a few months. And I just didn't know where my body was anymore. Like I like just imagine for guys or just you that have never had a kid. Um, you're used to wearing a size medium. Then you get really, really big and then you get small again because like you just got rid of your baby that was in your belly. You're small again, but you're not back to what you were anymore. So you're like, what freaking size am I? I have no freaking clue. So that's where I was with my body. Um, it didn't fit properly. I couldn't even sit because I was about to freaking fall out. I mean rip it but fitted it now very comfortably but i think it's time i part and it goes to a new home selling it okay so wore this for my girl's trip to tulum that was the only time i ever wore it um the back is really pretty too pretend i don't have a bra on very airy super fun uh, for springtime, summertime, or going in and out of the pool. Uh, but I think it's not, mm, I'm not a fan anymore. Selling it. Okay, so this one just caught me by surprise. I could have sworn that I was going to sell it for sure. Because I just see it and I know I don't ever like it in my closet. But then I put it on and I'm like, oh, keeping it. Okay, so I was in a phase, y'all. Luckily, I have my bra on, but... This shit ain't for me. Why did I buy this? I think I just really like the colors and the patterns and I thought I had bigger balls than I did, but nah, this ain't me. I'm selling it. <laughs> this is a beautiful dress, just not for me. Selling it. This one is beautiful, but it's just so messy. So I'm not even trying it on. Plus I don't like the way it looks on me. Selling it. I look like an Adams Family member. But I'm keeping it bitches! I don't know, wait. Am I keeping it? Nah, I'm selling it. Okay, so with the shirts, it wasn't that hard. I just literally went through it. I didn't feel like I had to try anything on. Um, and I just picked out what I wanted and what I didn't. And I usually do this quite frequently, so it wasn't really hard. Um, and I just put down a handful of things here. 
but it will be selling with a couple rompers. Um, but I think the ones I really got to try on are these pants down here. I think I really got to try on these pants and I should be done. Yeah. Oh, it was a lot easier than I thought. Holy crap, why is that so damn tiring? <laughs> that was really tiring. And like, I didn't even do that much. Why? I just did this whole section. I just did all of that. Why is it so tiring? I'm just kidding. I didn't even try all that stuff on. I literally just tried on stuff from here on down. And I'm fucking exhausted. I don't understand. Why? I need to make some fucking coffee and I need to finish the damn pant section. <sighs> okay, so I got really hungry, you guys. I'm so sorry. But right now I'm making white rice with um, some Japanese broth we picked up and then I added vegetables. And the broth came with like fish and like, it doesn't smell very good. I'm just gonna close it at a hope for the best. Um, so I was looking for chicken broth. We didn't have any at home. So I found this that we bought um, a while back. So hopefully that comes out really good. And then uh, we picked up some pre-marinated um, tri-tip. So I don't know what this is gonna taste like. I'm just waiting for the oven to warm up to 350 because it's preheating right now. And everything should come out sort of at the same time. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up so that it just marinates in its juices. And it comes out really delicious. Yes. Okay. I don't know what he's telling me. But hold on, I need two hands for this. What is that? What is that? What is that? Five dollars. Five dollars? But I'm not still ahead. Can I have your money? Yeah. Thank you. I had them at football. You're welcome. Oh, is that for football? Did you hear that? You're welcome. Okay, we're gonna go play outside. You guys, we just added lights yeah. to our backyard and it looks so beautiful. Oops. He dressed himself, by the way. You gonna come outside, fun? Come on. Look at that. Oh my god, this guy looks gorgeous. We had it on the other side. It might be overkill with that side. I like the way they did it that way. Because it goes in that side and then it goes this way. Oh, wait, it goes the same way. Wow. I'm glad they installed it because we would have did a really shitty job. You gonna play? Hey! Perfect timing. Papa head. Papa's here. It's beautiful. You got a little beanie on. Come here, fun. Volleyball? It's a volleyball, not oh, a football. Kick it, kick it. Yeah, he's trying to. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, she's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> she was so happy. Did you see her yeah. jumping in front of you? Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. How do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. It's so well lit, huh? Yeah, it's super comfy. Like the way it looks. Are you ready to go for a swim? Yeah, let's jump. You go first. Is there grass dying? I mean, it's getting it's getting um watered. Yeah, because there's it, the <laughs> I didn't spray the wolf piss. Uh, we sprayed or we bought this wolf urine spray, yeah. uh, and it's supposed to deter pets from going on your lawn so I sprayed it all here except for this side let me plug in the basketball court so you get the full scope oh, okay um I mean it's not keeping her off of it okay the okay the wolf urine didn't do shit she's rubbing herself all over the grass wow it looks so pretty look at the sky on the camera looks nice let me see Wow, nothing's more beautiful than you. <laughs> That's a volleyball, you nunchucks, both of you. He keeps calling it a soccer ball. <laughs> Where the hell does Bomb poop now? Where did she go? Oh, did she go back inside? I guess so. Because there's nothing I but plants. I love Cleaned up my court. Cleaned it. <laughs> Cleaned it. 
Oh, backyard's so beautiful. Can't get enough of it. What about all those frogs? Listen, listen, bench. listen. I love, I love the sound. We have of someone nature. making concrete angels. Oh my god. I love all the frogs. I love the nature. I love the nature, the frogs, the coyotes. The mountains behind you. The mountains and then the, the nice little patio lighting. Oh, the ball, the ball, turn around. All right, you guys, so this is what it looks like. I mean, it smells fishy, but I haven't tasted it yet, but it looks pretty good. It tastes, it's kind of salty. It doesn't taste fishy, but it smells fishy. And then here's the tri tip. Oh my God, I did a good job. I did a really good job. Thanks, babe. Look at that, it's still pink. Okay, we're gonna grab, I'm gonna hopefully take a like this. If not, I already have backup stew in the fridge. So, crossing our fingers here. So Tyga just found out he's gonna have ice cream, but check out his reactions as I'm cutting. Take a look, mama cutting the ice cream. You want some? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Baby, I know exactly what that feeling, man. <laughs> You're crazy. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream! Crazy dude. Como se dice? Thank you. Well, if you know what's up, it's it. Oh it, it is a shit. What? You hit oh, your I, head? I hit his head on this corner, I think. Yeah. Damn. Mm. <laughs> mm. You want to hit her, Papa? So pretty outside. And the sun's out. Which means I didn't finish recording my pants portion of it. Which means I'll you guys another video uh, if I should keep it or sell it. So stay tuned for that for the bottoms. And I do have a haul coming up because I did just buy a couple things. Um, but I'll explain that in that video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will be linking my shop in the description below so that you guys can shop whatever you guys saw today. Okay, thank you guys, good night, bye.